What is going on YouTube? I'd like to welcome you guys back to Red's World. Today we're going to be playing a game called Outbreak. This is part of Red's Spooky Specials. I'm going to be playing horror themed games and kind of just that dark Halloween type theme throughout the entire month of October. This is one of, I think, five Outbreak games that I have. Um, so we're going to be playing a lot of Outbreak, just checking out what they have to offer. I have not played them. They, from my understanding, are more so a retro horror game, like something like Resident Evil or something. So we're just going to check them out and see what's going on. But like I said, as always, welcome to Red's World. This is Red Spooky Specials. And let's go ahead and get into it and try to see what Outbreak is Outbreak. all about. Nothing on the board so far. Why to see the map? Yeah, see this I, th I think was just where they started and they wanted to do something kind of like um, Andy style Resident Evil because it does take a lot of money to be able to actually make the games look as good a tremendous amount of blood and gores here What could have caused this? Okay, We're gonna go here grab this key Okay, so it looks like we just need to get over to the other area. Hopefully we don't run into any trouble. Corpse lies here on the floor. It looks like it was a slow death. Don't know how you could tell that, because all of them just look like bones. I don't know how intricate the puzzles are or anything like that for this game, so it should be pretty interesting to see like this floor is a different texture I don't believe there's anything here though also if I look at the map these just kind of end here what is the oh there's guns all over the place here I missed all of them is this a shotgun oh we're gonna make space for a shotgun believe that Terrible. Handgun is trash. Players must be inside the evac zone. Ah. All right. So since this one is kind of, um, I don't, I don't want to, you know, bash on it, it's not a bad game, um, obviously I just played the tutorial, but it's a little more indie, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll skip this one, and I'll play it on my own time, we'll go ahead and get into one that's a little bit more polished a little funner to watch so i'm gonna go ahead and switch over and i'm gonna be playing outbreak epidemic now again i have five outbreak games you guys just seen the first one as you can already see i'll put it on the screen as you can already see this one's already uh okay that, that was loud um this one is already a little more polished um I don't know the chronological order of the Outbreak game, so if something seems a little out of place or something, just bear with it. I mean, we all watch Star Wars, even though that was a timeline mess, so <laughs> let's, this may end up being Outbreak. pretty similar. Oh yeah, this game looks a lot better. Of course we're picking up shoddy shells. We're all gonna die out here. Jim and I were working on the night shift, which is typically quiet. But we had an altercation at the main entrance. A car came barreling through and slammed right into the fence here. We ran over. There was a lady in the car and she looked really beat up. We tried and called an ambulance, but for some reason we couldn't get an outside line. We took her to the car and laid her on the road. She was moving, but wasn't speaking. And then she le leapt up and slashed my arm. 
I bit Jen in the neck, and the lady flailed wildly. I pushed her off and ran. I don't know what happened to Jen. This was a week ago. Since then, I've heard horrible things. Moans, groans. I don't know what to do. I'm out of food, and I'm going to have to try to get out of here somehow. I can't believe I just left her like that. It is what it is, bro. Get out of here. Okay. Hopefully I don't get copyright claimed for this music. Got him. Let's go. Shit, they're coming. Who's coming? Oh boy. Got him. Let's go. Anything in the dumpster? Apparently people are throwing away rounds. <laughs> Lock by combination. Take the handgun bullets. Bloody torn letter. I can't believe that fucker Rick left me out here. That lady took a bite out of my shoulder and almost got my neck. It was pure adrenaline. I bashed her head in with a rock. I fell by and that was it. I've lost too much blood and I can't get back to the main building. I'll kill that fucker Rick if I get my hands on him. But I can't stop the bleeding. I have my cell and I've been trying to dial for hours. No signal, nothing. What the hell is going on here? Hopefully someone finds this note. Help me. I'm gonna try to help you. Gotta find a way to get inside the building here. Oh! Okay, so you gotta shoot those twice. Maintenance report. Not a lot of people know this, but the president of the shipping agency near here is an avid flyer. He has a lot of government contracts, and every now and then they'll let him take out their aircraft with appropriate supervision, of course. Well, he pulled some strain, some strings and got one of the decade-old Air Mech 7, uh, or 372 choppers from the base near here. He was out for a flight with one of the captains and they got into a bit of trouble. There was an electrical issue and they had to land. Fortunately, he was near one of his depots and he got, he was able to get it set down right in front of the warehouse. The army has engineers working on it right now. As best we could tell, the problem is very simple. One of the main coils got damaged in the weather from a few weeks back. It'll likely fly again if that coil will be replaced. Even may, uh, he even may have one around here for some of the controls. Of course, it still needs to go through a safety check. Can't just slap the coil in and fly away. Ah! Alright, so I need a coil. Ah, Marama. Ah, we'll hold on to him for now. What is this? A Rick's journal. Fuck, it was her. The dumb bitch tried to kill me. She was covered in blood. I also found the lady who attacked us. Her whole head was caved in with a rock. Why would Jen still be out here just trying to find me and kill me? Where was she finding food? Why didn't she try to get back inside the shutters? All she's doing is banging on the car door here, lifeless eyes. What? Looking for a coil out here. Rick's journal. Fucking hell. There's a perfectly good chopper right here in the industrial park, and it was almost fully repaired. I found the coil the maintenance report mentioned, but sure as fuck if I know how to fly this piece of shit. Fuck. If I can't use this thing, I'm making sure ever anyone else who stumbles along can't use it either. 
I'm hiding the coil in one of the exterior safes we're using for a high price material. No, even better, I'll hide it in my car and put the key for that in the damn safe. It's perfect. The poor bastard who comes through here looking for help is going to be completely fucked over. I'll use my normal code 1077 on the safe. If Jen's still out there, she isn't going to make it far. I even thought I saw her earlier when I was checking out the area. But it couldn't be. She looked bloody, but was still walking around. This guy's a dick. See, that's the selfish mentality that, uh... <laughs> ruins the world if i can't use it no one can why wouldn't you want in it like leave it there so people can get out of here jen's last words fuck you rick leaving me to die out here i poured gasoline everywhere i could i have so much energy i lost so much blood um okay or oh rick i'm coming for you this is crazy these guys hate each other Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, the safe was back here. It was 1077. You've opened the safe. Take the car key. Got the coil. Chopper's wrecked. Fuck. Better head back the way we came. What? How the hell you manage that? Ah! They're on fire. Let me switch to another gun here. How do you manage to blow up a helicopter with a damn coil. <laughs> so that was apparently one of the campaign scenarios. Okay, so we got five scenarios here. Okay. Well, we'll uh, I was wondering why there were guns everywhere. Now I feel like an idiot for trying to rummage through supplies. <laughs> I'm over here savoring every single bullet. So we're going to go ahead and get into scenario two here. There's five scenarios in this game. And then, uh, like I said, I'll be playing the other games throughout the month. I do have a bunch of other stuff planned as well. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. Alright, supplies memo. As a part of our military contracts, we sometimes need to test ordnance. We've had a request come in for their subcontractor that we were to test one of their new remote explosives. The blast isn't gigantic. It's meant for tactical uses like removing a barricade. I spoke with Rick and we decided that the best place to do it would be taking out that old fence. We're removing anyway. It's right next to one of the warehouses, but the blast shouldn't be a, should be small enough to not hurt the structure. We also pulled up some of the other debris over there that needs to be removed as well. You'll just need to use some special detonator at the terminal we've set up nearby. It works on a wireless frequency, so you don't need to worry about any wires going haywire, and the terminal will be able to test and confirm the blast operation correctly. The explosion is going to be loud, though. Everyone in the hills already around here is going to hear it. Anyway, I have the detonator locked up as pure security protocol. Just pop in the only odd numbers on the note by the warehouse and the order they're written. Okay, odd numbers on a note. By the warehouse. Well, good thing I, you know, checked the trash. Or a handgun, so that way I could, uh, be well equipped. Handgun bullets. The guns are massive. I just realized that. Look at this thing. <laughs> Jeez. I gotta say, the voice acting is really off on this. I do like the, like, setup of the story. Again, this is an indie company, so... Kind of got... Ah! Give them the benefit of the doubt. I like what they're doing here, though, but yeah, that, that voice acting... I don't know if I should be this 
closed. Yeah, I'm gonna back up first. <laughs> I don't wanna try it out on there and then get killed. Okay, let's see. Detonator. Use. Okay, it didn't do anything. We're gonna go up and try it. That is a gigantic block. That would destroy a whole city block. Okay. <laughs> Most of it's packaging, apparently. Oh, I didn't even see this one. Alright, we took those guys out. What we got here? Operator's note. We're in real trouble here. One of the lesser known things about our industrial park is that we are run a government contract for an emergency radio system. In the event of a national emergency, natural disaster, or something else significant, the system needs to be able to operate. Unfortunately, the system is extremely old and our wonderful executive leadership team has made the decision not to spend the necessary funds to refurbish it. It's in a really bad state right now. The electrics are shot, it's missing some key pieces, etc. I managed to convince my supervisor that we need to spend our time working on this, and we've made little headway, but unfortunately there's still work to be done. I really hope the system isn't going to be needed anytime soon. If someone were to try to warn others or call for help from the military, you're not going to get anywhere fast. All the military funding. Still yet, can't get any sort of system to communicate. And we don't need a hunting knife. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Panic and hitting buttons. Let me uh, equip the shoddy. No, equip the shotgun. Ah! What is that? That is terrible. Terrifying. <laughs> Alright, we got rid of one of them. Alright, let's see. Pipeline repairs too. One of the contractors ended up locking away the replacement valve due to some R&D license bullshit reason. In the case that came in with the morning deliveries, I had a key, but I must have dropped it somewhere when I was at the tower doing some pre-install inspections. I can't find the damn thing anywhere. I took a look at the case and there was no way to force it open. They're really good in materials. My boss is going to kill me if we don't find that key. I don't, I don't think you got to worry about your boss killing you. Whoa, what the hell is that? Got a juggernaut over here. Oh my god, this thing is munching on bullets. Okay, you want some more, big fella? Yeah, enforce that. Okay, we're gonna go up top because I'm not trying to get caught. That thing can sit over there and scream all at once. Oh yeah, I see you. Ah! Took that one down. Reinforce key. You lost a key on the steps right here. Oh, that wasn't very hard to find, my guy. <laughs> oh. Torn note. What the fuck is wrong with Rick? He just got on the radio and was screaming about some ridiculous thing. He was absolutely hysterical and I couldn't have made it, any of it out. He was saying something about a movie or comic book. He was yelling about monsters or some shit being in a building. We need to get rid of him. He's unstable, he's erratic, and he doesn't always show up on time. That's... <laughs> he's hysterical, but he, sometimes he's late, you know? Nah. But the higher-ups love him so much just because he meets the quota. It's absolutely ridiculous. I hate this place sometimes. I mean, if he's doing his job, the man's doing his job. 
It's always those type of people. He's meeting the quota, but he's... He sounds insane now. Sometimes he's late. Well, you just sound like you're a hater, for real. <laughs> I would be using a shotgun more, because I really enjoy shotguns and games like this, but I have so much handgun ammo. Almost seems redundant not to use it. Ooh, frame rate drop. Must be a lot of zombies in there. Do you guys hear this voice acting? <laughs> what is happening? Come on, you guys couldn't have been playing this game in the beta like, oh yeah, this is crazy, like... Just a little bit of better voice acting. Everything <laughs> just explodes and stuff. Ah. I'm literally stuck. This game is playing uh, so terribly. Alright, so... <laughs> um, no, in all seriousness, I, I do think that was solid. We had some performance issues going on, which was 100% in the game. I don't know exactly what caused it, but a lot of frame rate drop, a lot of lag. Story was alright though, um, hopefully the other ones get a little bit better, a little more stabilized, but if not, it is what it is, I mean, the whole bundle was fairly cheap and affordable. If you like games like this, I still recommend picking it up. Um, there's gonna be some issues, it's an indie company, I, I hate performance issues, um, but other than that, the only thing I could really complain about is the voice acting. It was horrible. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, like I said, thank you guys uh, for stopping by. This was Outbreak, um, the original Outbreak, and then Outbreak Epidemic. I don't know if the other ones will be as, um, I guess, uh, buggy, but hopefully not. I probably won't finish this one on camera just because I have a couple to play and I'm hoping one of them really has some good stuff in it. But also I have a bunch of different, you know, horror games and stuff scheduled to play with you guys. So um, definitely stay tuned for that stuff. Every Saturday I'm going to be doing something called Three Scary Games. I'm going to be playing three short games that just have, you know, essentially some horror elements to it and hopefully they're good i haven't played any of them before so maybe i get jump scared maybe something happens has a good story anything like that and we'll have to see but you know for now that was all we had for this episode i will be doing this all month long if you guys don't know this is an event i'm calling red spooky specials all month of october i'm gonna be playing horror games every day except for thursdays I don't upload on Thursdays unless there's like a really special event or something or a game I've been waiting on for a while or something. So I won't be uploading on Thursdays, but every other day of October, I'm going to be uploading something horror themed or something with like a dark, creepy Halloween kind of vibe. So definitely stay tuned, check out all that stuff. But as always, thank you guys for coming to Red's World. Stay tuned for more to come soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.